So friends, let me move on to the most interesting puzzle number 5. So six people namely A to F live in India and they read newspapers such as Hindu Times of India. So friends totally there are six persons right and all the six persons are reading a various newspapers and they have clearly told that each person reads exactly one newspaper and no two persons are reading the same newspaper and the age of the person is also given that is 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and 45. So friends our target to find who is reading what newspaper and we need to find the age of the person right and they have uh, told that the age of the person starts from 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40 and 45. So friends we can say that the youngest age will be 20 and the eldest age will be 45 right. Okay friends let me move on to the first point. So B is not eldest. So friends listen here friends the point number one is the person B is not eldest. If the person B is not eldest then we can surely say that B's age will not be 45. So B age will not be 45 right and uh, they have told that and uh, reads in the paper right. So the B the person B reads in the newspaper but the person B is not the eldest person right okay point number two so E's age is more than 30 years and E reads either Hindustan times or economic times so friends listen here friends the person E is not reading economic times and also Hindustan times but they have clearly told that E's age is more than 30 years if the person's age is more than 30 years then it can be either 35 or 40 or 45 right so these are the possible ages of E and uh, D does not read economic times. So the person D is not reading economic times. Okay friends, point number three. So F is not the youngest person friends. If the person F is not the youngest, we know that the youngest age will be 20. And they have clearly told that F is not the youngest person. So we can surely say that F will not be at the age of 20. And uh, C is 35 years old who reads Decon. So friends, it's a direct statement, right? So C is 35 years old who reads Decon. So friends listen here friends we know that E's possible age will be 35, 40 and 45. Now they have clearly told that C is having an age of 35. So we can definitely say that E's age must be 40 or 45 right. Okay next point friends the total age of E and C is equals to total age of A and D. So friends I think it's one of the important clue right listen here friends the total age of E and C is equals to total age of A and D. I think we know what is the age of C right so age of C will be 35 okay so friends I think only way is that we need to fix the clue friends because listen here uh, I think E age will be either 40 or 45 right I am just going to assume that E age is 45 if I am thinking that E age is 45 then the total age of E and C will be 80 right so now our target to find what is the age of A and D that should be equal to 30 right. So friends we have eliminated 45 and also we have eliminated 35 by using the remaining numbers by substituting the remaining ages for A and D we can't surely we can't get 80 friends listen here when we add 40 and 30 the resultant will be 70 that is not equal to 80 right so when we add 40 and 20 the resultant will be 60 but that is not equal to 80 friends so I can definitely say that E age will not be equal to 45 so I can surely say that E age will be 80 friends so let me assume that E age is 80 sorry E age is 40 right e age is 40 so friends listen here friends if I am assuming that E age is 40 so 40 plus 35 will be 75 friends now our target to bring the sum of ages of A and D should be 75 listen here friends we have uh, assumed that E age will be 40 and 35 will be C right so the remaining will be 30 45 I think by using the remaining numbers we can easily find 75 is equal to 75 listen here friends so we can surely say that the remaining numbers are 45 and 30 by using these two numbers we can say that both the ages are equal right they have given a clue that the total age of E and C is equal to A and D. We know that E can either be 40 or 45. But while substituting E is equal to 45, we are not getting an answer. So while substituting E is equal to 40, now I can say that it satisfies the given clue. But we don't know A age is 30 or A is 45. Or D age will be 45 or D age will be 30, right? That's a little bit confusing, friends. But let me do one thing. Let me... Uh, take it as a note that right so a age must be 45 or 30 similarly d should be 45 or d should be 30 right okay let me move on to the next point friends i think uh, 
uh, remaining it is not 20 right so if this is not 20 then only one possible that b should be 20 right no other way i think uh, only one possible friends b should be definitely 20 friends i think uh, remaining only one age is remaining that is f should be definitely 25 so only thing is that we need to check wh what is the age of d and what is the age of a whether it is 45 or 30 or 45 or 30 and uh, listen hey friends both the person is not reading economic times so but we have two possible right no problem let me move to the next point friends the person who is 25 years old reads times of india we know that f is the person who is then 25 years old so we can say that this person is reading times of india right and the next point is and the eldest person of the group does not read economic times okay friends listen here friends the eldest person is not reading the economic times we know that the eldest person age is 45 so the eldest person is not reading economic times we already know that the person d is not reading economic times so we can surely say that the person d must age must be 45 and e is not reading economic times so friends if both the persons are not reading economic times only one possible that economic time should be a right so the remaining age 20 25 so the a age will be 30 right so the remaining age will be a that is 30 i think uh, we have two newspapers remaining we already know that the person e is not reading economic times and also hindustan times so only one possible that hindustan should be read by the person d and remaining only one paper that is i think uh, uh, remaining papers are indian express so indian express should be definitely read by e so friends finally we have uh, solved an interesting puzzle i think uh, we need to think and solve this area friends or otherwise cracking a puzzle will be so difficult so try to substitute uh, the ages in the given clue so that you can easily crack this interesting puzzle